Strut L perimeter. Here we go. This is the bit I'm on about. This is... Oh, this made me laugh so much. Oh, hang on. Is it? Is it this bit? No, no, it's not. We have to uh, sneak past the windows. Na 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 I think you can actually trank him if you get the right sort of angle with the windows, but... There's two! There's two! I forgot there was two! We're about to be assaulted by ciphers. Lots of ciphers. Did we get them all? Did they only send two? Shit, that was an easy alert to frickin' forget about. Ugh. That was an easy alert to forget about. That, no, that was an easy guard to forget about. What am I talking about? Alright, we should be safe. I don't think they're gonna send any more. Possibly. Right, now this... Shit! Wait a minute. Crap. I don't think we can get this event if, I've, if I'm in alert or caution. Is this where it happens? Or is it later on? I'm just gonna wait a little bit, guys. I don't... I don't want to miss this thing. This thing that happens. Because it is very funny. I thought it happened on one of the perimeters. It does. So Snake and Otacon are over on the heliport, fixing the chopper. Is this caution ever going to disappear? What the ever-living shit is going on? Oh, now it, now it goes down. It just takes a while before it starts to decrease. I see you, Mr. Guard. I see you. Yeah, you might be thinking, how the fuck do we get across there? Raiden does the most weirdest, like, thing ever, as you'll soon see. I don't, I've, to this day, I don't understand how it's physically possible to have the sense of balance required and leg strength to do what he does in a minute. Come on. I really hope I haven't missed the opportunity to see this, unless it's round the corner. It could be round the corner, and if that's the case, we might be alright. Yes, return to your stations. Right. So, you have to do this, but then you're like, oh crap, I can't keep on going, this thing's in the way. So he crouches! Look at this shit! No! No, 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 no. How is that possible? How is that possible? To this day, I don't know. Right, round this corner, hopefully, we'll get a, a nice little sequence. Yes! Yes, we're about to have a nice... I'm going to go in my pants! I'm going to go in my pants! A golden shower. Let's have a wash. Oh, and the controller vibrates too. Wonderful. Oh, yes. Let's phone someone, shall we? The enemy has already. Oh, no, fuck off. Talk about the fact I'm being pissed on. My sympathies. <laughs> Sneaking missions are called wet words for a reason, after all. Uh, Don't worry about it, Jack. It's okay. Rose? That is, as long as you take a shower the second you get back. Do we have a deal? Might need more than a shower. Oh, boy. Does Pliskin say anything, or is he busy? Ryden, you cover the president. Make contact with him before the confirmation of the nuclear launch code. We're going to start repairs on the Kamov. That should keep our hands full for a while. I did a round of Shell 2 during bomb disposal. Let me know if you have any questions. 
There's not much of Shell 2 left. And yeah, he didn't talk about the fact we're being pissed on. Look at that. Whee! Mm, open your mouth, Raiden. Taste it. Taste it. Taste the, the nectar of the gods. No, that's gross. Right, now I know the ciphers here. Yep, lots and lots and lots of ciphers. That we will take out. One by one. If I could hit them. I suppose I could use a sniper for this, but... I feel more of a badass doing it with the pistol. Uh, we, no, oh, we don't have a radar, so you got to be a little bit careful. Ration, yes. Are there any more ciphers pop up? I don't think you can actually access much of Shell 2, which is a real shame. I've always wanted to go explore it, but... As you can see, this door's broken. Sh uh, L, I think, needs a higher level card than we have. Yeah, level 5. So, there's only one way to go, into the Shell 2 itself, which is very lucky we can get here. Although we have to be a little bit acrobatic. Whoa, nearly riding, nearly fell off the edge there. And as you can see by the lighting, it is actually getting late in, later in the day. It's definitely afternoon now. And uh, hopefully we got to the president in time. Well, if we can find him still, we've, we've got to the Shell 2 core, but where is he? Finish business with him. Olga, calm yourself. Let's do some eavesdropping. Where is she? Your personal feelings. Then screw your plan. I've been waiting for this day for two years, and I will send you to the bunk right next to my old man. The launch comes first. Damn it. Where is also at? Not here. Him. Don't talk that way about one of your own. He's not one of my own. He left my father to die, remember? Olga, we'll talk later. We need to get started on the final checks for the unit. All right. I'm headed back there. The upper connecting bridge to Shell 1 is down. What about the chopper? The cam off is out of action. Take the oil fence from Strut L. I'll tell my men to start pulling out. Not yet. Their retrieval comes last. The intruder's still at large. Snake. What about the other man? He's got luck on his side, certainly. He survived that explosion. Listen, Olga, the code confirmation is in one hour. Keep the president alive until then. I know. No one gets in here. I really wish she would stay still. I mean, I know people walk around on the phone, but come on. It's hard eavesdropping with a mic. High voltage currents on. Oh, God. The door stays shut unless the president manages to take out that circuit panel from inside the room. And it's no job for bare hands. All right. Come back immediately. One more thing. What? We leave for Russia when this business is done. I want half the money for that. Of course. That was part of the agreement. We start Ooh. looking for ourselves after this. If there's anyone who wants to stay here, I want you to take good care of them. Gladly. Gerlukovich soldiers are the cream of the crop. It's time they went free. What happened to rebuilding Mother Russia? The old man is dead. The world is a different place now. It's your life. Just as a reminder, I'm going to say this again, one last time. Don't try anything on us. The feeling is mutual. Mm. 
shit, how are we going to get to the president if the floor's electrified? I'm in front of the room where they're keeping the president. Everything all right? No sign of flooding, but I can't get close to the door. The floor is electrified. Don't test it. You'll be bacon. Any suggestions? Remember the Shadow Moses VR training. Take out the circuit panel? Right. But there's no way into the room. Try ventilation ducts. Yeah, I think I see one. Look for a remote control missile launcher. You can guide it through the duct into the room. Then target the circuit panel. Got it. Right, but make sure you don't hit the president. <laughs> the president is wired with... Oh, God. Machines. If we know the frequency, I can raise him. We've tried that repeatedly, but there's no response. It looks like the walls have a built-in radio shield. So that's why Ames lost contact with him. If you need to confirm his position, you can log into the node. Understood. Locate a remote control missile launcher first. You're a bit fucked, though, if there isn't one in the building. Like, what is the guarantee that there is one? Otherwise, we'd be absolutely up shit creek without said paddle. Or a boat, in fact. We're just floating in the shit. Now, I just really want to test this. I don't know if you die when you do it, or if it just hurts you really badly. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, it's worth it. It's so worth it. Sorry, Raiden. I'm not sorry. Oh, right. So, remote control missile. Where, f where, where the fuck are we going to find one? The Nikita. And again, very similar to the first game, of course, but they acknowledge that. It's kind of... Well, I won't spoil anything, but yes. The game is very aware that a lot of this shares similarities. Uh, I'm not going to bother healing myself. And as you can see, look, it says the Prez with a Z. I've always found that weird. Oh, shit. In here, I think there's cameras. Yeah, I think there are gun cameras, too. But there's only ammo in there, so... I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say, oh look, you can see the vent. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend going there. Oh look, another door that's broken. This place has gone to hell. I'm gonna chafe grenade. Let's grab ourselves the node. Now we have a bit coming up that, uh, well, it's actually not as bad as another bit coming up, but uh, you'll soon see. It's a tad awkward. I've always sort of dreaded this section, but then again, I've never had that many problems with it. It's just a little bit tricky. Can I get a drink, please? I really could use a drink right now. So you can see the president on the radar. Now, can we do what we did in the first game? Oh, yes. Yes. Hello. He's coming to investigate. You're not going to say anything? I thought you would say something. Like, shut up! No, he's curious. I wonder if that's a good way of, like, getting him away from the circuit panel for when you use the Nikita. I don't know. Anyway, we need to use the lift. If it's still working, that is. Oh, yep. Yeah, seems to be. I'd feel a little bit... Ugh, about using it, though. The condition the rest of the place is in, who's to say the lift shaft is, uh, is safe? It's probably not. Alright, we're in B1. And, uh, yeah, look! It's completely flooded! We're gonna be swimming! Oh, and swimming in this game is a little bit... That's what I mean, it's awkward. I've always found it... The, the way it controls not the easiest thing in the world, but uh, we have to do it. We have to do it. 
Because, uh, well, this would be the only place you could search for a remote control missile launcher. Not sure if real life missile launchers are, you know, work well after being submerged for a long amount of time, but. You're just gonna tell me how to swim, Colonel? Colonel, B1 is completely flooded from what I can see. You'll have to swim through. I know how to swim. I think. Oh my god. Stroke the water and I know. So yeah, he swims like a like a fish, which is really good. You know, it's effective, it's fast. He's a much better swimmer than I am, but you have to uh, make sure you don't run out of air. So luckily, these little air pockets are quite frequent. But it's just the inverted... It's not actually un inverted, now that I think about it. Why do we always struggle with it? Right, it's not that way. I can't remember where the missile launcher is. In one of these air pockets, I know there's a rubber duck. I think it might be on the other side. Um, any more items here? Oh, night vision goggles! Oh crap, I'm running out of air. I forgot the night vision goggles were in the game. I wonder if they help underwater. Wow! Not really! No, not at all! <laughs> not one bit! Oh, nice picture. Uh, I... yeah, I'm not sure. In the first... Whoa, mines! Why are there mines? Why would there be mines here? Where the fuck is the missile launcher? There it is. Shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm running out of air. Shit, running out of air. Oh. Yeah, we just be... F now, again, right? I know people... Th the codec must be, like, telepathic, you think, and then that transmits through the nanomachines to the other person, or through the airwaves, or whatever. But how... I mean... Because otherwise, how would they talk underwater? Because as, as you can see, right, we'll go underwater. We're holding our breath, right? You can call people. You can actually talk underwater. So, it must be some sort of brainwave monitoring thing. Wait a minute. I, hang on. Talk to me. Someone talk to me. I, mean, I pressed the wrong button. That's what it was. That's a tranquilizer gun with a sound suppressor. Hit an enemy with that, and it's good night. Sleep tight. Yeah, I know. We've had it for a while now. The tranquilizer takes effect depends on where you hit your target. If you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, my point is, I know Raiden didn't actually speak in that conversation, but he can do. So, yeah. Anyway, right, let's get out of here. Underwater sections. Never the best. Right. So I'm going to get back to the first floor. We're going to use this Nikita. And hopefully talk to the president. And see what the fuck is going on. Right. I'm going to try this technique, actually. I'm going to see if I can draw him over to this wall. Who's there? Who's there? I'm the president. And let's see if we can use the Nikita effectively without killing the poor guy. Now, you can go through the bottom vent or also... Oh, we'll grab the ammo. Uh, or also, if you stand up on here, I think it's a shorter route if you uh, if you send it through the top vent, I think. And that's what we're going to try. 
See if I can remember how to use the Nikita. Ah, fairly straightforward. Dee -dee -dee. If you don't move it for a certain amount of time, it'll boost, which can really fuck you over. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at him. He's too busy. Excellent. That that does work. That's a wow. Because I've always in the past bloody either killed him or hit him or something. You know, he, he just runs into it. But well, that is that works. Hot damn. All right. Successful. That's a big bastard. Everything in it. Four. Right, we've got a lot of cutscenes coming up, guys. Just a warning. Lots of cutscenes. President Johnson. Huh? So you're finally here. You've been expecting me? Your equipment, that skull suit, isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you all right, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. What? I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you- Whoa. What the- You're a man? <laughs> well, who are you? Foxhound, sir. Foxhound? President Johnson grabbed our Johnson. Now things are starting to make a little sense. <laughs> Switch over to nano communication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. Do you read me, sir? Uh, yes. Mr. President, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now, they're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. But you're the president. You have power. No, I'm just a figurehead. What? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The Patriots? The truth behind this country. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Huh? Politics, the military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the patriots rule this country. No. <laughs> Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. The space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Space defense was initiated by Congress. That's what the Patriots want the country to believe. It's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. This country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Huh? Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. The Patriots. Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? No one knows who the Patriots really are. Even my instructions come from a cutout. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men, known as the Wise Men's Committee. Your office? The White House? Merely puppets. Pawns in a game. By pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. Hmm. Of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. What do you mean? Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a playing piece. I wanted to leave my own mark in history, but my ambitions were... 
You'll understand someday. I wished to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. And that justifies acts of terrorism? Yes. I'd intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But I underestimated Solidus. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots, even if it means the destruction of the world. What are you saying? Whether you believe it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation, staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. Can you imagine what would happen if they ceased to function? Picture a massive political vacuum, a space that every power monger will try to fill for their own greedy ends. I'm talking about an unregulated power struggle, panic, civil war, chaos. Like it or not, the Patriots is an organization that must continue to exist. So you changed your mind because you wanted to avoid global chaos. Exactly. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. And who is this Solidus? My predecessor, George Sears. That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Enfants Terribles project. Neither Solid nor Liquid. He was a well-balanced masterpiece that the Patriots saw fit to entrust with the presidency. However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. Four years ago? Shadow Moses! Dun, dun, dun. That's right. At the time, the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development of Metal Gear Rex and an advanced nuclear warhead. However, this did not fall in line with the Patriots' plans. What's more, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Ocelot, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the data on the warhead. But in doing so, he ended up revealing the existence of both Rex and the Genome Army, a blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed from the presidential office. I thought he resigned. That's the story given to the general public. Following his resignation, the Patriots selected me, their new pawn, for the presidency. But that would mean that the presidential race was... That was quite a show, wasn't it? It was a well-scripted drama staged by the Patriots for the benefit of the public. Even the Democrats and Republicans were dancing to the Patriots' tune. Everything went according to plan, but for one exception. Huh. Following his resignation, Solidus' health was scheduled to fail him bringing about his untimely death. Capped? Correct. But before the Patriots could execute their plot, Solidus went underground with the help of Ocelot. As he avoided pursuit, Solidus gained control of Dead Cell, winning over Colonel Golukovic's outfit. From there, he bided his time, knowing that his opportunity would soon arrive. What opportunity? The completion of the new Metal Gear project, an opportunity that would even his odds against the Patriots. By stealing the Patriots' most valued project, he would be able to place them in a very uncomfortable position. It's the only chance he has for survival. Once he has the new Metal Gear, he'll declare war against the Patriots. Needless to say, he must be stopped. Metal Gear is already operational. No, not yet. Hmm? What you saw was Metal Gear Ray, hijacked two years ago from the Marines by Ocelot. That was not the new Metal Gear. Then where's the new Metal Gear? Right here. What? You're standing in it. To be more precise, this entire Big Shell facility is the new Metal Gear. Would you say? No, <laughs> I'm quite serious. The upper structure that you've seen is camouflage, designed to represent an offshore cleanup facility. The main structure extends from the foundation all the way down to the ocean floor. The connecting elevator is located on the B2 floor of the Shell-1 core. 
Arsenal Gear. That's the code name for the new Metal Gear. Arsenal? That's right. Arsenal. We're talking about an impregnable fortress carrying a load of over a couple of thousand missiles, including nuclear warheads, all protected by a horde of mass-produced Metal Gear Ray units. Mass-produced? The Ray unit was originally designed for the Marines to be used as a countermeasure against the Metal Gear variations throughout the world. The Patriots had Ray redesigned to protect the new Arsenal gear. So now anti-Metal Gears are guarding a Metal Gear. Ironic, isn't it? That's not all. Arsenal Gear has full access to the military's tactical network, giving it the ability to exercise absolute control over our nation's armed forces, not to mention our nuclear armament. In short, Arsenal was created to be the core of our country. What kind of idiotic weapon? Weapon? No. You're not seeing the full picture. Huh? Arsenal Gear is more than just a military tool. It is a means to preserve the world as it is. It will establish a new form of control. The Patriots will use it to keep their place as the country's true rulers. Right now, they feel pressured and threatened. By what? They fear an overabundance of digital information. The world will drown in the coming flood of information, and they along with it. Hmm. The Arsenal plans include a system to digitally manage the flow of information, making it possible to shape the truth for their own purposes. In short, the Arsenal system is the key to their supremacy. The key? Yes. The GW system is the Patriots' trump card. Arsenal gear will be fully operational when GW is successfully integrated. Once operational, it will be a completely new form of power for the Patriots to wield. I had hoped to seize the project from them, so that I would be in a strong bargaining position. Bargain for what? I'd hoped to trade my way into their ranks. Masalidas preferred rebellion. Outer Heaven, his plan to unleash a nuclear blast over the skies of Wall Street to break the Patriots' control over the business community, is also a key factor in his offensive effort. Outer Heaven? Listen, there isn't much time. The football served as the key for activating Arsenal gear. I've already input the necessary code sequence. It won't be long before GW begins to establish connections with other external systems and Arsenal gear becomes fully operational. Stop them before that happens. That is your role. Role? You've got to find Emma Emmerich. She's the only one who can stop that thing once it's been activated. Emma Emmerich? She's the system programmer for Arsenal Gear. I believe she's somewhere on level B1 in the core of this building. I thought the levels below us were flooded. I'm sure they won't let her die just yet, as she's the only remaining programmer for this project. According to Ocelot, she was being held in a locker room located in the northwest part of level B1. Cut transmission and get moving. Damn, that is a lot of stuff to take in. This is card four. It'll give you access all the way to Emma's location. Give this to her when you find her. What is it? A program for disrupting the control functions between GW and Arsenal Gear. Take Emma to the computer room on level B2, Shell 1 Core. She'll know how to load the program into the main system. A virus? That's right, modeled after fox dye. A biological weapon designed to selectively eliminate personnel with a specific genetic code. But why do you have it? The Patriots had it engineered as a failsafe. And Ocelot forgot to search me. You've got to hurry. That disc is the only way you're going to stop Arsenal. Well, I've told you everything you need to know. There's only one thing that remains to be done. Huh. Now, kill me. What the? There's no time to argue. The final check for my vital ID will start any second. If you kill me now, you'll at least prevent the nuclear strike. Cut it out! Uh, do it! That's her role! Pull! No! George! Ah! Ah! 
That's abusing your right to free speech, Mr. President. Oh, shit. Ex-president. The president! Why did you... Alas, my finger must have slipped. I'll see you around, carrier boy. Wait a minute. Forget him. He did us a favor. Without free will, there is no difference between submission and rebellion. My only real choice is to put an end to this charade. Let me at least have the freedom to end it myself. What are you? Find Emma. Stop Arsenal. This is my last order as your commander in chief. I'm counting on you. <sighs> so why did Ocelot kill the president if that would stop the nuclear strike? It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. The plot thicken. I mean, the plot is like super thick right now. It's ridiculously thick. It's like the thickest, stodgiest porridge you could possibly imagine. And uh, it can be a. It's very difficult to keep track of sometimes. In fact, all of the time, pretty much. It's hard, but I, that's why I love it. Colonel, the president is dead. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Where do we go from here? Your mission was to rescue the president and eliminate the terrorist threat. However, given the recent turn of events, we will honor the president's last directive. You must put a stop to Arsenal gear once and for all. Do you actually think there's any truth to his story about this big shell facility being a front for Arsenal gear? I don't have the security clearance necessary to verify the facts. However, he was the president. I'm sure he knew what he was talking about. Aren't you forgetting that he was part of the terrorist plot? All the more reason why I believe his information is reliable. Huh? We're talking about a man who chose to die rather than risk a nuclear holocaust. Thanks to his sacrifice, the nuclear launch authority has shifted to the vice president, effectively eliminating the terrorist threat. Colonel, when you put it like that, it almost sounds like I should have assassinated the president to eliminate the threat. That yeah. was not my intention. I was trying to point out that there is certainly some credibility to the words of a man who chose death to protect the innocent. The colonel has a point, Jack. What about the information he gave me on the Patriots? That's a new one on me. I'll see what I can find out. <sighs> Raiden, we're running out of time. Find Emma. She's supposed to be located on level B1, in the core of that building you're in, right? You've got to find her before Arsenal becomes fully operational. Hurry, Jack. It's up to you to make sure that the President didn't sacrifice his life in vain. Understood. Raiden, out. I don't know, though. I mean, he didn't technically sacrifice himself. Ocelot just shot him. I know he wanted what us to kill him, but... Raiden? Snake, the President, he's been assassinated. What? There was nothing I could do. What about the nuclear strike code sequence? He died before his vital ID could be reconfirmed. Then the enemies lost their nuclear strike capability. But that Ocelot guy obviously killed the President on purpose. Why? It doesn't make any sense. They had to know that they couldn't launch the nuke if they killed the President. Maybe there's a way to launch without reconfirming the vital ID. Or maybe they found a more effective weapon within Arsenal gear. You knew about Arsenal gear? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me about it? You never asked. <laughs> Am I correct in assuming you also know that the Big Shell's a front for the project? You mean, did I know that the Big Shell, a fully functional environmental cleanup facility, was designed to camouflage Arsenal gear? Yeah, I did. <laughs> it's exactly what the President and Ames described, a massive cover story. The good news is that it hasn't really done much in terms of cleaning up the environment, so we won't have to worry about any toxic gas being released if we have to blow the house down. Right. And when did you find out about all of this? It took a while, but we uncovered the info around the time you took out that mad bomber. <sighs> There's no doubt that Arsenal gear is being built here. Then it was all set up two years ago, on that day. All of it. Two years ago? What really happened here? I took these photos two years ago. I know these pictures. They were on the news on several websites. If I remember right, the reporters blamed you for sinking the tanker. That's right. Otacon, me, we were used. We'd hoped that by going public with photos of the new Metal Gear, we could persuade the government. At least that was the plan at the time. 
I've gone through VR training of the tanker mission before. Yeah? Well, I doubt it accurately simulates the events of that mission. I'd infiltrated the dummy tanker to obtain proof that a Metal Gear was under development. Shortly after I made it aboard, an armed group led by Colonel Gerlukovich raided the ship and gained control. Olga and Ocelot were among the raiding party. Yeah, and him. Who are you talking about? A man that was supposed to be dead. Their target was also Metal Gear Ray. But Ocelot eliminated Colonel Gerlukovich and Marine Commander Scott Dolph, and he hijacked Ray. So he betrayed them? I don't know what kind of deal was going down. All I remember is what Ocelot said at the time. Something like, I'm taking it back. Ocelot then sank the tanker, along with the soldiers of the Marine Corps. How did you manage to get out? Otacon managed to have a small boat ready for me. That was the easy part. The tough part was not getting dragged down with a sinking tanker. Small miracle when you think about it. It turned out that the whole thing was a setup to lure us. Photos of Snake, taken by the Cypher, were released to the public. In turn, we became the world's most wanted environmental terrorists. It was definitely a move aimed at putting a stop to our anti-Metal Gear activities. But why did they choose Snake? Since the Shadow Moses incident, Snake became sort of a hero. I think the Patriots weren't too happy about that. You knew about the Patriots? Well, yes, to a certain degree. It seems like everyone knows about them except me. They didn't choose Snake to be a hero, so they decided to do a smear campaign. I think the Patriots wanted to make an example of him so everybody would think twice before opposing them. That's it! They set all this up just to nail you guys! No, there's more to it than that. The Marine's Metal Gear Ray project, headed by Commander Dolph, was carried out in opposition to the Navy's Arsenal Gear project. To be more precise, the Patriots considered Metal Gear Ray to be a thorn in their side. Hence, they attacked the dummy tanker and stole Ray. They followed this up with a perfect plan. They immediately sent a fully loaded tanker to the same location and sank it, then set up the facility to camouflage the development of Arsenal gear. And we fell for it. Two more puppets in their show. Colonel Gerlukovich and his daughter Olga? Both fell victim to Ocelot's plot. Was Solidus behind all this? He used Ocelot to get hold of Ray, huh? No, he was underground, keeping a low profile at the time. Then it must be the Patriots. If that's the case, what's Ocelot doing alongside Solidus? Hmm. Who knows what Ocelot's doing? Double, triple, quad, Forget it. quadruple crosser. Time. We can figure this out later. The nuclear strike's been prevented, but Arsenal still has a massive payload of missiles to deal with. Right. If the opposition gets control of those missiles... Raiden, you've got to find Emma. Wait a second. Isn't Emma Emmerich... My sister. What's she doing here? You got me. She's a computer whiz who specializes in neural AI and ultra-variable volume data analysis using complex logic. Oh, How I know. I know all about that. development is beyond me. Hmm. Whatever her reasons, we need her in order to stop Arsenal. Raiden, find her. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Yeah, holy shit, so much story stuff. Like I say, I love it though, but man, there's a lot to take in. The Patriots, bloody the whole Big Shell cover-up, Arsenal gear. Ocelot, no one knows what Ocelot's doing. Don't even know if Ocelot knows what Ocelot's doing, but anyway. We need to go uh, find Emma, who apparently is down in the flooded area. I mean, she can't be alive. I mean, Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, so we're going to head down to uh, B2, and then I'm going to end it there. And next time, we'll go see if we can, well, go see if we can rescue her, which involves a lot more swimming. Oh boy. This whole part of the game is one that I tend to find... The most uncomfortable, if that's the right word for it. Like, I don't know, it's not... 
it's not particularly more difficult than the rest of the game, but it just feels that way to me for some I don't know why. It's just the water, maybe. I don't know. It's just, uh... Oh. Oh, boy. A lot of swimming to do. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, and I will see you next time. Look at those cans. Look at those cans.